the wait is over, we made our first step. We have ordered the batteries, what we ordered, and why, and the first impression. In my previous video, I went over many reasons, advantages of lithium. And you're welcome to watch that video. I'm not going to go into those details. But there are two main reasons that we chose lithium. Our batteries, old AGMs need to be replaced. And we decided to go with lithium, number one, because if an event, if an event that the batteries drop down to a single volt voltage, either our fault or some mechanical uh, interruption, the AGMs would be severely damaged while lithium can be fully recharged and we're back in business. So that is a number one reason. And perhaps the second reason we get more bang for the buck. A thousand ampere hours of AGM, really it's only useful at 50%, while thousand amps of lithium is useful up to 100%, but more practically 50, 90, good 90% of that is more. And it's so those two main main benefits it was really attracted us to lithium so what did we buy well we ended up buying chinese batteries which to some of you it might come as a surprise that most lithiums are made in china anyway there are a couple of domestic brands but they are just too expensive uh for us at this time and uh, for the equal capacity they are up to three times as more as chinese so we chose to go with Chins. This is a brand that Amazon sells at about $1,100 a piece. Uh, and we chose them because they had the most reviews. Uh, there were a couple of other considerations, but uh, with a few reviews, we thought, well, you know, you can't buy out six, 700 people for leaving the review. So, so we went, we went with Chins. And uh, so that was our, was our first move. These are 300 amp ampere hour batteries so we bought four meaning giving us a total of 1200 uh ampere hour battery capacity meaning probably about thousand uh useful useful uh, ampere hours which should kind of be good enough for for the big coach for 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 time being uh anything less would have been a little bit short changing us and a little bit more going to 400s each uh price premium does not work Anyhow, uh, I opened the boxes individually. They were they seemed to be wrapped well, uh, and they survived the transportation pretty well. So that was first pass. The batteries looked good. They looked new, and then I was less concerned. Next thing I did was um, I charged them. I tested them uh, individually for voltage, and they were all four were either thirteen. 17 or 13.18 volts which equals to about 45 to 50 percent of capacity that's a federal law for transporting the lithium battery so they can't charge them more than more than 50 percent so that that checked out well so i was i was pretty impressed by that so so far so good so a company recommends that the batteries be fully charged before install which which kind of makes sense so i have bought uh, a vitron 30 amp chargers actually I have two of them so I can charge two batteries at a time and at 30 amp maximum so I figure well, it's gonna take it's gonna take several hours to charge them up uh, which it did so each battery had about 45 or so percent capacity which means I ended up on an average adding about a hundred forty hundred forty five amps amp per hour to each battery so that took about seven to eight hours funny thing is um, the company that sells the batteries, uh, they don't provide you a charger. 
I, I read different reviews about the Chargers, what they do, this and that. So I went back and forth with them asking him to, can I buy a Charger or send me a Charger or something? So they voluntarily uh, send me a free 10 amp Charger. Now, and they do that only for per household, meaning if you, whether you bought one or f 10, you get a one Charger. So at 10 amp, so imagine uh, my battery is needed about 140, 150 amps, but that's, that's a 15, 18, 20 hours realistically per each battery. That basically is a four to five days just to charge them up. And then they're supposed to sit. Uh, and uh, when they equalize or when they're within 30 milliamps, you're supposed to connect them in parallel. Well, that, that's just too much of a time lag between battery number one and battery number four. So I thought it was like, well, that's that's not gonna work. It was a nice gesture. These uh, these chargers are probably 20, 30 bucks, but 10 amps uh, for four, one charger, um, no. So the company suggests, recommends that you use lithium charger, which I did. And they said that uh, for the bulk charge should be set at 14.6 volts, which I did. However, after going back and forth a couple of times, uh, they were not getting fully charged and there was a kind of delay. So I had to kind of fine tune it with this free 10 amp uh, factory charger, which kind of managed to, to bring him up to 1395 kind of range. So I would recommend that when you use the lithium charger, use the lithium setting on your charger, which I ended up doing. And this is from now on, this is what I'm doing. The Vitron lithium charger charges them as about 14.2, which is on the lower end of a charge recommended for by, com by manufacturer, but that seems to work better. So 14.2 or whatever the preset uh, lithium charger is. Uh, so the first impression outside the package, they were packaged reasonably well. Uh, additional marking on the boxes that it's fragile or heavy or would, would help the, the delivery people. Um, so the, the battery seems to hold charge. They're not being used. They're just kind of sitting, um, in, in my, in my living room and just sort of resting. And I noticed that I've, I've been measuring voltage and the, the voltage drops about one, one hundredth of a volt a day. So it goes from 1394 a day later is like 1393, 1392. Uh, that is all four connected in parallel. So for 1200 amp per hour, uh, that's a pretty small drop. So so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. So the charger, free 10 amp charger was like eh okay, but uh, so far batteries check out and I'm kind of relieved because it's a significant investment. So uh, so so far so good. So uh, if you if you want to see how this continues, how the process installation and experience continues. Consider subscribing up to to our, our channel and watch uh, watch our videos and we'll 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 get through this and and uh, hopefully it's the right decision. This is a uh, country coach guy. Thanks for watching.